hello guys welcome to my channel as i promised you in the previous video that this video on catfish reformulation is going to be a video in series revealing to you the secret on how to produce quality fish feed so as i promised today i'm going to look at a crude protein calculation but uh, we are not going to look at protein crude protein calculation in today's video what we are going to look at today is some basic calculations that are also very vital very important that will give you an insight on how you go about calculating the crude protein itself and also understanding the amount of money you need to spend on the feed formulation and also the amount of money as a farmer you are spending every day when it comes to buying feed in the market so you agree with me that it is very important that uh, somebody understands the logics or the tactics or the secrets that it entails to produce feet and then not only feet because feet are not produced for producing sake but they are produced in order to meet the nutritional requirement of the fish so it is very important that you understand what does the feet uh, it tells or it com or, or, or compounds so that uh, it will give you an insight of what to do in today's video we are going to look at something very important and that thing is what the cost of feeding your fish so as you can see on the screen here we are going to see the amount of money you spend every day starting from buying the fish itself that is the seed to the amount of feed that is consumed by the fish and then the amount of money that you spend during the stocking period i think this is very important because this will give us an insight of the money we need to have and then the amount of it we need to produce so the cost of feeding 1000 fish so we are taking 1000 fish as an example so step one purchase of the catfish juvenile for example you are dealing with a catfish juvenile and then you decided to purchase 1000 fish so the cost of each and every fish is starting era for example so cost of 1000 fishes is equal to the number of fishes times the amount per fish that is 1000 times 30 will give you 30,000 right from the purchase of the seed so now in the next slide we are going to look at if you have this particular 1000 fish how many kg or how many quantity of feed do you need to give them for the period of six months or the period of five months in order to achieve one kg so and then we are going to look at the amount of money you need to spend in buying that particular feed so that you understand whether you are making profit or you are not making profit so but before we go into the next slide it is very important that if you are new to this channel you subscribe to this video subscribe to this channel and don't forget if you have any question or any point during the explanation you do not understand you can ask in the comment of this video and do not forget to like this video share this video with your friends as they may find it very valuable so subscribe and i would really appreciate that thank you step two we are going to look at, we are going to look at into feeding plan for six months so what is the feeding plan that is the amount of money or the quantity of feed you need to have on ground to feed your 1000 fish so it takes about one kg feed for a catfish to gain one kg weight therefore one catfish is equals to one kg feed meaning for you to have a particular weight of fish that is one kg for it to attain that particular weight it need to consume one kg feed definitely 1000 fishes will consume 1000 kg feed now 1000 fishes is equal to what 1 kg times 1000 will give you 1000 fishes to be equal to 1000 kg of feed so now from this calculation you understand that if you stock 1000 fishes you need 1000 kg of feed on ground in order 
to take care of the production cycle of six months so how much money do you spend if you are to buy this feed from the market if you are stocking 1000 fish this is the next thing we are going to look at the cost of feed now one pack of fish feed is sold for 8500 for example depending on the location of the area now one buck is measured 15 kg so number of bucks to 1000 fishes is to cost 1000 divided by 15 which is 65 67 bucks so definitely you need 67 bucks of feeds in order to take care of 1000 fish during six months of stocking period so total number of bucks to feed 1000 fishes to gain a kg weight is 67 bucks remember one buck is equals to what 8500 naira in the nigerian currency total number of bucks to feed 1000 fishes to gain a kg weight is 67 bucks remember so now the total amount of feed is equals to amount per buck times number of bucks so now if you have 8500 as the price of one bag of fish feed where you multiply it by 67 bucks you will get 569,500 naira this is the amount of money that you are spending as a farmer if you are to raise 1000 fishes to a table size this is a very huge amount of money and then this is what is taking away the profit of this business so how do you go about it what is the another way around to go about this particular figure how do we cut this particular figure to a minimum figure to a minimum figure of maybe 200,000 or 150,000 the only thing is for you to produce your own feed and then producing your own feed requires a lot of skills that is why I always encourage you to get our blueprint on catfish feed formulation in the description of this video. This will be the only thing that will take you step by step as a fish farmer, not only on feed formulation, but when it comes to treatment of diseases, when it comes to hatchery, when it comes to dealing with mortality in your own stock. So it will take your feed. Check the link in the description of this video. So we aim at cutting this particular price to a minimal price so that you can maximize your own profit and that is why we have been doing this video series in order for you to understand what it takes to produce feed so if you stick with me to the end of this video i'm going to be showing you exactly what it takes to produce quality feed the next thing we are going to look at is the feed conversion ratio after producing your own feed either it is of good quality or it is not of good quality the only thing that can give you that particular assessment is the feed conversion ratio and what is the feed conversion ratio is the percentage of feed consumed by a given number of catfish that is converted into body weight that is meat and bone for human consumption so it is very important that you understand the feed conversion ratio if you are formulating your own feed in order to access the quality of the feed and now how do you go about it you need to calculate the feed conversion ratio by taking the feed consumption in kg all over the weight gain in kg for example this is what i'm talking about if a stock of 1000 pieces of catfish consume 1800 kg of feed in five months a total of 100 1200 kg of catfish is sold from them remember fish are sold not in pieces or in number but in kg so if you measured this you have 1800 divided by 1200 you have 1.5 kg that is when you divide the feed consumption over the weight gain you get 1.5 kg in this example what does this mean is that this result means 1.5 kg of feed gives 1 kg of catfish meaning for a fish to attain 1 kg of weight it need to consume 1.5 kg of feed and in this video series what we are trying to achieve is we are trying to achieve 1 kg fish to 1 kg feed and this result can only be achieved when you have technical knowledge of producing quality feed that have all the required ingredients that has that has been calculated based on the crude protein requirement of the fish so you need to understand this very well and then this is what i will be doing 
in this video series so make sure you do not miss any of this video series it is very important now you check the link in the description of this video we have the video one that is the part one this is like the part two of this video so we are bringing a lot of parts or a lot of series on this channel so if you are new to this channel do not forget to subscribe to this channel hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss any of our videos and also like this video share this video with your friends and if you have any question or any point that you don't understand or you have any question or any challenging on fish farming you can go ahead and ask in the description of this video this is the calculation of feed conversion ratio that will give you one assessment on the feed you produce whether it is of good quality or it is not and then it will give you an insight of how many kg of feed consumed averagely by a single catfish factors that enhances feed conversion even though you may have a quality feed produce but you may come along facing serious challenges of that particular feed not converting into flesh you may begin to suspect the feed probably the feed may be of good quality but maybe there are other factors like stocking density really affects the growth of catfish or the conversion ratio if you are stocking fish in a very small area that, that they do not have a, a large surface area and then maybe you are putting them in in large amount definitely you experience a lot of problem maybe the feed quality if you can access the feed quality and then the water quality water quality that is one of the most important aspect in fish farming business so you know you need to have adequate knowledge on what it takes to have quality water so if you don't know all these things check the link in the description of this video there is a provision of vital information on how to go about treating your water or checking the water parameters we have diseases slash mortality when you have disease outbreak in your own you know the fishes may not eat there will be a lot of problems you may start experiencing mortality loss of appetite and so many of them so if you uh, such a type of farmer that is experiencing a disease or mortality in your fishes you can check the link in the description of this video we have provided uh, a blueprint information on how to go about this breed and quality of breeding you must have to understand the type of breed and then where you get your own breed proper management control and hygiene is the same thing as the water quality treatment so you should never joke with the issue of water and then good feeding habit so these are some of the factors and i i am happy today that uh, you are able to understand one the cost of producing 1000 fishes so depending on the number of fish you have in your own stock and then secondly how to access the feed conversion ratio it is also very important when it comes to formulating your own feed so in the next video i'm going to look at another major important aspect concerning the feed formulation so as you have the basis of what it takes before you start producing your own feed